What are the primary blood-borne risk pathogens? Hepatitis B, Hepatitis C viruses, HIV. What would you do if one of your friends had a needle prick injury while drawing blood? First, the wound should be cleaned with soap and flowing water for 5 minutes. Then, antiseptics such as 70% alcohol and povidone iodine should apply relevant time for disinfection. If bleeding persists, allow the free flow and don't squeeze the wound. Then inform the in charge relevant authorities via ward system. What are those authorities? Accidental and Emergency Occupational Hazard Unit, Infection Control Unit of the Hospital. Okay, what are the details you would inform? The date and the time of the incident, details of the procedure, details of the exposure, source and exposed person's information. What kind of details that you would specifically ask from that patient to assess the risk? History of acquired hemodialysis, acquired blood transfusion, whether he is a drug addict, whether he has unprotected sex and multiple sexual partners, whether he has HIV, hepatitis B and hepatitis C infections, Okay, what is your next step? Taking blood from both patient and my friend to check uh, for antigen and antibody for hepatitis B virus, antibody for hepatitis C virus and to do ELISA for HIV P24 antigen. So what if patient is positive for HIV? Then should start antiretroviral treatment for four weeks and should undergo HIV antibody testing at six weeks, 12 weeks and six months. What if patient is positive for hepatitis B and your friend has not been immunized against hepatitis B virus? Then you should give hepatitis B immunoglobulin dose within 72 hours of exposure followed by Hepatitis B virus vaccination, preferably within 24 hours after immunoglobulin dose at different site. If your friend is vaccinated against hepatitis B virus, then does she need revaccination? Revaccination is only recommended if the levels of antibodies to hepatitis B surface antigen is uh, less than 10 milli international units per milliliters. Tell me three main routes of transmission of hepatitis B virus. Having unprotected sex with someone who has hepatitis B, being born to a mother who has hepatitis B, sharing needles and syringes. Tell me about the post-exposure prophylaxis for a neonate born to a mother who is positive for hepatitis B virus. Before the delivery, we should arrange and get down hepatitis B immunoglobulin and hepatitis B vaccine. Hepatitis B immunoglobulin should be given to baby within 72 hours of birth. Sooner the better. Hepatitis B vaccine is given on the same day to different site. Then, baby should incorporate it into immunization program to complete vaccinations at 2, 4 and 6 months. What is the best serological marker of acute hepatitis B viral infection? IgM antibodies for hepatitis B co-antigen. What are the symptoms of acute hepatitis? Nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, fever, diarrhea, uh, light colored stool, dark urine, and jaundice. What is the earliest serological marker of hepatitis B viral infection? Hepatitis B surface antigen. What can you say if it is there for more than six months? 
the patient has gone to chronic stage of hepatitis B viral infection? Tell me a complication of chronic hepatitis B viral infection. Hepatocellular carcinoma. What are the other hepatitis viruses that can cause hepatocellular carcinoma? Hepatitis C and Hepatitis D.